Starting lineups, first for Calvin. Number one, Nate Van Ryan. Number six, Trent Vector. Number seven, Matt Hines. Number eight, Jay Noyola. Number nine, Jacob Witt. Number 11, Mitch Stark. Number 16, Bobby McCall. Number 17, David Watterson. Number 21, Stephen Hooker. Number 25, Derek Williams. And number 26, Iski Van Dorn. And now if you're Ohio Wesleyan battling bishops. Number one, Ben Farinowski. Number two, Kyle Baum. Number three, Aiden Stout. Number six, Nick Norman. Number eight, Will Scherer. Number nine, Neil Wilson. Number 10, Phoenix Knightsell. Number 11, Luke Bean. Number 16, Drew Riggle. Number 20, Antonio Romanelli. And number 22, Jack Shadone. Good luck to both teams.
good afternoon guys sorry for starting the commentary so late we had some technical issues and took us a while to fix them welcome to Roy Reich Stadium um, in the J Martin soccer complex here in Delaware Ohio we are watching the game between the Calvin Knights and the battling bishops the battling Battling Bishops coming in off a 2-0, a 2-1 win against Hope College yesterday. You're watching the game with me, your commentator, Poop Dorji. We are five minutes into the game. The home side in red and the visiting side in black. Long ball to the keeper. Ben Faranowski looking to set the game as he usually does. Ohio Wesleyan always electing to play from the back, not afraid to go for the long balls as well. Nick Norman, the captain for Ohio Wesleyan. Replacing the outgoing seniors, Evan Lee and Lonnie Barnes. Evan Lee, of course, now playing for FC Cincinnati in the U.S. Soccer League. Small tussle in the midfield early in the game. teams having played too many matches in the last two to three days obviously slightly fatigued looking to sit back and absorb some pressure Ball in straight into the feet of the keeper, Kyle Baum, looking to not give the ball away. There was a counter attack there. Of course, right next to the Calvin player taking the throw, and we see jersey number 19, Luke Gabbert. In whose memory we played Luke's game yesterday, which Ohio Wesleyan won 2 1 against Hope College. Ben, Her ben with the ball out, loses it, and the defense ready. Oh, the center defender putting his keeper in a bit of trouble, and now there's a counter attack on for Ohio Wesleyan. Good defending from the Calvin Knight on the right flank, keeping Jack Chiron out, which takes a lot of strength and skill. Jack Chiron, having played in the fullback position most of last season, has advanced further into a more attacking role. Not surprising, really. With all the contributions to assists and goals last season. Phoenix Knight still, that is 
Antonio Romanelli, and a, a freshman, gets the ball out to the right flank with Kalbaum. Kalbaum looking to keep the ball. Good pressure from the Calvin Knights, and that the ball is kept in. Gets them the ball, but good defending. Antonio Romanelli uh, trying to combine with Kyle Baum. Kyle Baum with the pressure to lead the offensive line for Ohio Wesleyan with senior players such as good players such as Brian Schaefer having graduated. That's a corner conceded by Ohio Wesleyan. We are about 10 minutes into the game, and again, we apologize for the first five minutes being without commentary. I suppose that's something that we will not mention from now on. In swinger, traveling the defenders, and the ball is well. The ball looked to be clear. Um, came back in, and the Kelvin Knight was found in an offside position. It looks like the early part of the game. Ohio Wesleyan are going to play with the long ball, trying to conserve some energy, and it's a capitalize on the physicality of their forward line. In the center of the defense, we have two freshmen for Ohio Wesleyan today, Luke Bean and Drew Riggle. right side we have Aiden Stout and Nick Norman on the left hand full back position good track back from Jack Sharon with the Wins Ohio Wesley in the ball Nick, to Nick Norman. Ohio Wesley is struggling to keep control of the ball so far. Nick Norman wins a throw in of the Calvin Knight. I'm not sure if it is his brother, but I think uh, Nick Norman, another Norman, is. Uh, my teammate tells me it is his brother. Uh, Nick Norman's brother also coming to Ovu this year, um, also in the team. Not sure if he'll feature in tonight's game. <coughs> that was a weak ball from Antonio Romanelli and Calvin Knights can break. by Wesleyan managing to get a lot of bodies behind the ball and that attack from Calvinites come to nothing. The referee 
calling a foul there. It was obstruction of play. You cannot fall down and keep the ball tucked between your legs. Not conducive to a good game. Nick Norman with a hopeful ball forward. So far the game chaotic in the middle. Uh, both teams struggling to string together meaningful number of passes or to make any attempts at the goal. That is another example of it. The teammate trying to looking for the through ball. And that is a wonderful tackle. And Kyle Baum could have been in, but he was offside anyway. That was Neil Wilson, the what? other captain for the team, leading by example. Good switch of play from Calvin. Find space on the right of oh, beautiful nutmeg. The ball straight into the feet of the Calvin Knight okay. who goes for the top right corner. Does not manage to test Ben Faranowski. It'd be fair to say that even from that distance, even if it was on target, it would take something very special to beat Ben. Another bad pass. And the clearing ball from Kyle Baum with a chance here. And the keeper comes out and saves it. Beautiful chance. Coming off of a defensive error from the Calvin defense. Both teams so far making a fair number of mistakes each and this could be in Neil Wilson just lost control of the ball and went in for a desperate tackle an energizing spell of play from the home team getting the massive turnout in the stadium riled up Of course, Ohio Wesleyan being coached by Coach Jay Martin after whom the soccer complex is named. I believe it's his 38th year in charge of soccer here at Ohio Wesleyan. He is the winningest coach in NCAA history. During those 38 years and most of those wins came during the two seasons when they became national champions in 1998 and as recent as in 2011. This is Antonio Romanelli looking for Neil Wilson who will not get that. We are about 20 minutes into the game between the Calvin Knights and the Ohio Wesley and battling bishops uh, on a beautiful day here in Delaware, Ohio. Very sunny. Um, and not as humid as this ha has been in the past few weeks. Jack Shadow using his physicality there to win a throw in. Pressuring the Calvin player. Yeah. Coming together of bodies, leaves will share knocked out in the middle for a few seconds. Jack Shadow. 
share with Norman. Looking for Antonio Romanelli, who in turn was looking for Kyle Baum, but <coughs> Kyle was on the other end of the pitch. Norman coming in for a powerful shot. It's deflected. A misunderstanding, which is to be expected after a summer break. Um, the team losing some of its energy. Also didn't help that Butch J lost 11 seniors all having graduated. Yes. He has brought in about nine new freshmen in. Beautiful, beautiful run there from the Calvin midfielder. And oh, who could break now? Just needed some more time there. Antonio Romanelli. That is Neil Wilson. Phoenix Knightsold, who is now playing in a more attacking position this season. Uh, very exciting to see that. Very versatile player. Played anywhere from the fullback position to the central midfield position last year. Jack Shadon using his pace, but just not enough. night sold but that was judged to be all ball not there the though first one. Phoenix night sold still on the ground the referee is showing some concern Looks like we have a couple of substitutes coming in for Ohio Wesleyan. Jack Shadone with the ball, wins the ball. Antonio Romanelli back to Jack Shadone, who is looking for Phoenix Knightsold. And the attack could still be on with Will Scherer. Neil Wilson taking it. Looking for Kyle Baum and the defense clear. Why Wesleyan looking to be coming into their rhythm and form as the match goes on when we have about 21 minutes on the clock. You are watching this stream, the game between Ohio Wesleyan Patrick Bishops and the Calvin Knights through stream.ou.edu. Uh, everyone here in the athletic video department welcome you to enjoy the game with us. It 
looks like Phoenix Nightsold and Antonio Romanelli have switched their positions in the last few minutes. This is Phoenix. Could have found Kyle. He does. Jack Shadon, Kyle. We saw Ohio Wesleyan cause the Hope defense a lot of problems with one-to-one uh, -one passing when they managed to get them together yesterday. Calvin trying to break and that's a through ball to the forward. Aiden Stout standing strong. The ball into the 18 yard box and it's clear for a corner. The two substitutes still waiting to come on. There's that added superstition in soccer. Never make substitutions in your own half. Ohio Wesleyan, of course, um, lining up in a zonal marking formation, defending that corner. Aiden South clears, and Kyle Baum. Sorry, that was... Drew Riggle, the defender. Phoenix, Kyle Baum, looking for Neil Wilson, but once again, asking too much of him. Before the legendary coaching of Coach J. Martin, Ohio Wesleyan was led by Coach Fred Myers, uh, self-styled the grandfather of Ohio soccer uh, coaches. And in his testimony is this invitational tournament uh, being carried out. going down and being bogged down in the middle two teams both the coaches looking to change that uh, first coming on for Kelvin we have Micah Beard and coming on for the battling bishops you, you have Jared Purcell and Ryan Roberts replacing Neil Wilson and Jack Shadone Romanelli finding Ryan Roberts who was looking for Phoenix Knights out. McMahon again standing strong not allowing his man to pass and that ball is out of here out good kick for Ben Farinowski
again running into traffic. Seems to be the story for both the teams today as Antonio Romanelli has a chance to change that. First his way in and that was a good kick. The crowd and the players clearly upset at the linesman de uh, decision there. will share. Surprised the referee didn't call him out for that one. Didn't look like there was a, a lot of contact on the ball, but the referee had a better view, being six feet from the action. It's Ian Adams and Wright Culberson coming on for Calvin. And Ian Molfenter, the scorer of the first goal yesterday, coming on for Ohio Wesleyan. And with that, it looks like Coach Jay has decided to go with the second formation he used yesterday, which uh, delivered offensive results as Captain Winnerfoner. Uh, Kyle Baum will probably look to play in the ten, number 10 position with Ian right in front of him. The ball in, very high. Another chance. Ryan Roberts shows some experience with that tackle. long throw in. Ian Mofan to Pierce. Culverson trying to get that. And with Ohio Wesleyan sitting so back and deep, it has encouraged Calvin to come out and press higher and higher. Kyle Baum being caught at the waist there by the Calvin player says the referee. Norman will try to swing the ball into the box. The keeper comes out and punches it out. Is there an offense on for either team? Calvin. Reed Culberson being encouraged to fall there with with a strong defending from the Ohio Wesleyan side and there's a <coughs> substitution it's Hunter Olsen the freshman coming on
some chaos in the middle of the field. Uh, luckily for the battling bishops, it wasn't Blackshire that got on it. Ben Taranowski calmly collecting it. And we are about nine minutes from the end of the first half. Kyle Bomb slips and that's the end of that attack. Yellow card of the game goes to Nick Norman with a very crunchy tackle there. Go one seven. Go Brady. Gets his team to calm down, um, to get their heads into the game. The last few minutes have been chaotic, to say the least. attack on for Calvin strong defending strong feet from Nick Norman long board forward looking for Ian and he will not get there and there's three substitutions for Ohio Wesleyan um, number 21 Brady Wittekind 18 and 17 Jared Heilman and Adam Yingling I believe it was number 20, Jacob Leon, coming on for Calvin Knight. And with that attacking change from coach J. Martin, we have about five players playing primarily offensive for Ohio Wesleyan. That is Adam Yingling, who cannot keep the ball inside. And seven minutes left until the end of the first half. Once again, the, you're watching the game between Ohio Wesleyan and Calvin College. Being streamed live from Delaware, Ohio, on the campus of Ohio Wesleyan University. Kelvin with an attacking mindset and the ball goes out for a goal kick to the defender and himself there. With number 18, Dillon Weldy coming on for Kelvin Knight. felt uh, looking for the run of a teammate as his full share neither of them successful the keeper not coming forward a slight misunderstanding between the keeper and the defender there who oh, yeah, was the nearly capitalizing to the mole center It was 
in Wolfhunter and Antonio Romanelli who scored the two goals yesterday. What, what a brilliant way to start your collegiate soccer career. Wesleyan great with her defense and the midfield so far struggling to combine different parts of the field together with meaningful passes so far of course with a lot of freshmen coming into the team I'm not sure why the referee didn't call a foul on the Calvin player there. He's trying to take the shirt off. Good, Adam. There you go, one seven. Aiden Stout, strong defending. Chaotic defending in the middle of the box, and Ben Farah has to send at him. Coming on, coming to him with a lot of power. Needed strong hands and a calm disposition. And the calm disposition is what he is displaying right now. Looking to set up play once again. Talking to and Ian and the captain defender wonder what about. <coughs> He's achieved. Aiden start with the long ball in. Oh, it's Neil Wilson. Will Scherer, sorry. Struggling to see the difference between eight and nine there. Nice switch of play once again, but Nick Norman is the defender there, so usually does not work out. Drew Riggle, tall and sturdy. Roberts turning around, keeps the ball. And with about two minutes remaining, the ball is with Ohio Wesleyan. In Mofilter, Mofilter has moved slightly to the right to try and attack from the flank. That's for sure. Ryan Roberts cleared by the Calvin defense. Ben Farinowski comes out and clears the ball. Straight into the trees. Calvin keep their attack going. Why 
Iowa's own defense putting itself in some bit, some trouble. There, that's Adam Yingling looking for the run of Brady Witchkind. The ball is cleared. This is Reed Culberson. Gets into the box with a lot of pace, but the ball here had slightly greater pace. We are about 10 seconds from the end of the first half. This has 10, 9, 18, 7, 6, 5, 4, An uneventful three, match so far. 2, 1. Hopefully, things will improve in the second half, and the two teams will want to open up more and open each other more. Ohio Wesleyan struggling to build some synergy between its midfield and the forward line. Calvin, strong in defense, uh, struggling to put Ohio Wesleyan under any sort of real pressure. They have had the greater share of possession though. This is Puptujin, I'll see you in 15 minutes for the second half of this coverage.
And we are back for the second half of the game between Calvin Knights and Ohio Wesleyan. Wesleyan batting bishops. Let's try that again. Ohio Wesleyan battling bishops. The game still 0 0. Neither team's able to rack up any sort of meaningful offensive pressure in the first half at all. The stats show that um, Calvin had five shots and Ohio Wesleyan had three shots. Hopefully, as we have seen with other games this past week, uh, the games will open up in the second half more. And we'll see some entertaining calls. And we are off to the second half. Calvin with a very offensive ball as soon as it went out. <coughs> Interestingly, over the summer in professional football, they changed the rules about kickoffs uh, so that the ball did not need to cross the half line before being brought back. Therefore, most teams have started their kickoffs with just the one player now. And the ball just <laughs> skirting along the line Ben Faranowski could just watch luckily no Calvin Klein player got on the end of that Ian with a deflection gets the ball there could be an attack on here for them Neil Wilson slowing things down Antonio Romanelli the freshman scorer of the winning goal yesterday crosses it in straight into the hands of the keeper Apparently D3 though hasn't taken on the new change in the kickoff rule. Sorry, that was Kyle Bomb. Neil Wilson will try to cross it in. Wins a throw in off him in a dangerous area, especially with the long ball capabilities in this team. But he goes for a quick throw in. Neil Wilson, ball to Aiden Stout. Crosses it in. Jack Shadon. Jack is blessed in a lot of areas, but winning a header against the Fenders. Six feet might not be one of them. <coughs> Aiden Stout is a slight change on Trey Olson, who is still in the team, who used to start at uh, right fullback. 
victory, obviously, more inclined to attack. Aiden, on the other hand, is happy to sit defensively and do his job there first. Ball into the 18 yard box. Ball goes back. Ben Farinowski has it. Catalyzing chaos of the first half, seemingly returning to the two teams. Hopefully they don't settle into that. The crowd excited and showing up in numbers for the home team today. And we also have quite a number of visiting supporters, friends and family, all the way from Michigan. And that is the end. He never really was the favorite. But the referee is going to call the ball back to the fall on the Ohio was the And uh, it's going to be an Owu free kick from the center of the field. defensively today as that ball ends up in the hands of him of the goalkeeper Calvin could counter Ohio was then having to play slightly more defensively than they are used to uh, causing them to rely heavily on the long ball which on other occasions would be their last resort Start has the ball. Passes it straight out. He didn't start with the ball again. This time to Jack Shadow. That is Nick Norman looking for Kyle Baum. The Calvin defender. Conceding a throw in there. The ball straight in and on to the side netting. The crowd trying to Rile up energy from the players. Referee calling for a flat foul. Come on, Red. I want to hear you off the field. Come on, Red. And uh, with the long ball from Calvin, it looks like it could be potentially Let's get threatening. Red. Come on, Red. Let's go, Woo. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Ball into the box and ends up shooting the hands of Ben Karinowski.
by Wesley and now beginning to press with the forward line. Romanelli looking for that bomb who finds Nia Wilson will try to barge into the 18-yard box. Uh, the defender doing a good job of keeping him out. And we will have a throw in. Aiden Stout to Nick Norman. Uh, Neil Wilson. Strong feet from the Calvin striker and gets taken out with the ball. Referee uninterested in any protest about not giving the foul. And a goal kick. No, he takes it in. Strong defending from the Calvin defender. Dangerous defending too. Ian Mofelt takes out the defender. Kyle Baum. Phoenix Neitzelt, who is looking for Jack Shadow. Drew Wrigley. Jack Shadow turns him. That should be a foul. What? No, it isn't. Again to Kyle Palm. <laughs> Phoenix Knights back to Jack Schdor. Or rather, Nick Norman. Nick Norman with a beautiful ball uh, nearly finds Neil Wilson, co captain of the team. The ball out to a Mo Fenter who tries to. Beat it to Neil Wilson. Ooh, ooh, now showing their hunger for a goal. To Rickley, the center defender, was up making the play at some point, and that fell. and Jack Shadon. The crowd getting riled up. The ball to Phoenix Knightsold, Aiden Stout, miscommunication, and neither of them knew who was going to go get it. Lupin, Phoenix Knightsold, Lupin takes the ball, has some pace for a central defender, passes it in. Trial bomb. Jack Shadon will chase it and wins the ball, but concedes a goal kick. Good energy from Ohio Wesley and Patrick Bishop. And it's Trey Olson coming on. Now for Neil Wilson. Trey Olson, another fullback like Jack Shadon. Uh, last season being moved up the field by coach Jay in this game That's 
Nick Norman covering for that fast. Wins a free kick, I believe. the 18 yard box nothing comes of it still with the Galvin defender cleared forward and a throw into Ohio Wesleyan good energy from them in the last spell a sky bomb combining with Jack Shadone Out, standing firm. Wins a throw in. Field, Aiden Stout wins that battle, but and wins the goal kick. Of Calvin Knight is ready to make the first substitution of the second half. As again, that attack comes to nothing. We are about 15 minutes into the game as Ian Adams comes back on for Calvin Knights, as does Will Scherer for the Battling Bishops. There's about 29 minutes left in this game. While uh, you're watching the game between Calvin Knights and Ohio Wesleyan from the Royal Wright Stadium in the J. Martin Soccer Complex at the ca on the campus of the Ohio Wesleyan University. You're watching this game with me, Pukdoji. teams the story has been that are, are suffering from a lack of uh, meaningful passes in the final third otherwise uh, the defense and midfield have been good to Aiden Stout. Runs with the ball. Trey Olsen can put the ball in. Will Scherer. Beautiful ball in. Oh, uh, uh, Phoenix Knight show. Looking to test the keeper. Not enough pace on that from that range. Trouble it. Physical battle on the right flank for Calvin. And that's a throw in. Nick Norman leading the team by example. Had a wonderful game yesterday as well. 
defensively astute. It looks like Jared Firstel will come on for Jack Shadone. Karanowski can only chest the ball out of play for a corner kick. Dangerous back pass there from Aiden Stout. That was Luke Team, sorry. Somewhere along the line during the season, hopefully we will not make as many uh, errors with um, mistaken identities. Ben Farinowski is <laughs> struggling to reach for that. Luckily it was over the top of the crossbar. There's about 25 minutes left in this half. Looking for Kyle Baum, nearly found him. Kyle Baum using his physicality to win a throw in there from nowhere. Kyle Baum looking to take the ball in. The defense clears. It is start with a slip. That slip could be costly. The ball to the Calvin attacker, but it was Nick Norman using his superior physicality to shock the ball off him. And Uwu have a goal kick. The 
ball out to Trey Olsen. The game feeling more open already. Nice Calvin tried to get one back. Beautiful switch of play to the right flank. Gets the ball in, cuts in, passes it. in a very dangerous position. Swinger from the right foot. The ball in. Head it out. By the defending there. And that's a goal kick for Ben Karanowski to take. Meanwhile, another substitution for Ohio Wesleyan, Brady, Brady Witchkind, coming on for Kyle Ball. About 19 minutes left in this half. Uh, Ohio Wesleyan leading to the goal of Luke Bean, another freshman scorer, um, with Antonio Romanelli and Ian Mofenter scoring in yesterday's game against Hope. Oh, that's Luke Bean again, winning. The headers on both hands. Oop, the ball flirted in, and that's Aiden Stout not conceding a corner kick. Throw in instead. Aiden Stout all the way to Brady Wittekind again. Calvin Knights looking to score a goal. Beautiful 
dummy there. Spins it, good position. And he gets overcrowded again. And the ball is in the hands of the Bishops again. Brady with a kind, dropping deep. Phoenix Knight Salt responding to the cries from the crowd. And on. Cross in. Oh, we didn't start concedes a corner kick. Ben Farinowski yeah. comes for it. Does not miss it. And the return is just too high for the attacker. Kyle Baum coming in back for Brady Wittekind. And then Drew Yingling coming on as well. Thank 
Central defenders up there. Two Central defenders? Yeah. Oh my god, that's risky. of the game certainly rising okay, since the goal. More, Calvin of course ranked fourth in the nation in the NCAC NCAA rankings. That is a mistake from the defender and that shot is well blocked by and we have Neil Wilson coming back on. Looks like Lupin is suffering some sort of an injury. <coughs> Looks nothing serious. for everyone and here by the defender Kyle Baum will try to chase it down and that foul gives Antonio Romani a chance but the defender is very well but the pressure of the keeper to see her clear that was good pressure from my Wilson
handball and the penalty is conceded. Looks like it will be Kyle Palm. From the spot, 12 yards. Players need to remember that you cannot be inside the 18 yard box as the penalty is being taken. Not even the keeper is allowed to be actually. He has to stay on the line. And Kyle Baum will take this. And puts it in. That is second goal and OU are looking to win this game against Calvin College ranks fourth in the country. Calvin is the third of the penalty. And the home crowd on their feet and excited. As we have about eight and a half minutes left to go in the second half, unless Calvin can pull off a spectacular comeback and score two goals in that time. This game is done and dusted. And Ohio Wesleyan with renewed energy. <laughs> Trey Olsen is back in his position as fullback. And the ball to Neil Wilson who will try to keep it. Agent Stout coming back on. Calvin looking to salvage a part of their reputation. <laughs> Ball on the right flank. Oh, woo, flooding the defense with a lot of bodies. And that ball is cleared. <coughs> Just off the six yard here, right? Nine. There. But we managed to clear the ball back in. Ben Farinowski was aware of the impending threat and tried to come out. Deemed it unnecessary in the last minute. The ball back to the center defense and to Owu win the ball. A counter could be on here again. Phoenix Knight Cells looking for the spectacular. Couldn't really get that. And the uh, Calvin attacker is brought down right outside the 18 yard box and Calvin have a good opportunity from the free kick. I wonder if it might not be too close to the box to get it over the wall and back down, especially with a tall team. Well, tall in terms of averages anyway. Ben Karanowski has set his wall. 
The ball going out and Ben Kalinowski saves a spectacular save. Refusing to be confused by attacking soft Calvin. I don't know how we managed to get it at the top right corner. And the, with the game coming to a close, a player is down for Owu. with that injury hopefully it's nothing serious looks like he's already fine about five minutes left on the clock and Ohio Wesleyan have a 2-0 lead uh, the first goal coming from a header by Lupin and the second from a penalty kick by Kyle Baum ball gets in and looks like it's kept in Goal kick is conceded. Who will be happy to pass the time? Kyle Baum looking to sneak in there from behind the back four. The two teams started the game off obviously with a lot of um, sitting back. Calvin doing the attacking for most of the first half, uh, failing to string together anything meaningful in the final third though, uh, making the OU back four look very good. Um, in the second half, the game was opened up slightly with the added pressure of it being the second half, but also because Lupin's goal came out of nowhere. And that was a good shot, but Ben Karanowski saw it go over his head. Lupin's um, goal, obviously, uh, coming from the spill of um, the ball by the Calvin goalkeeper. Uh, With that pressure added to the team, uh, the game opened up and the two teams have been allowed to play more freely, more in their stride uh, than at other times during the first half. Aiden Stout looking to win that ball back, nearly wins. And it was due to the two teams' defensive setups today that um, the crowded 18 yard box for Calvin Klein uh, allowed Luke Bean to score the goal and it was that sort of uh, defensive setup that allowed a handball to be conceded in the penalty area. A much fairer score line might be 2-1 to the host specifically because Calvin had been unable to convert any of their possession or passes into anything meaningful as a part of the Fred Myers Invitational. Fred Myers, a 
an Ohio Wesleyan coach. Started in 1957 when the soccer program was only two years old. That's Ian Mulhunter making a menace of himself. Trying to win the ball. And Neil Wilson comes in for the tackle. The home crowd stacked it with that. And that is Neil Wilson again. Um, he has been pulled back. And there's about 45 seconds left in the second half. Let us see if Owu decides to push for a third goal in the dying moments of the game. they can score in one tenth of a second does not really matter the confusion on the field as to what happened that definitely went in yes the scoreboard, scoreboard agrees now it's 2-1 seconds and that is the end of the game. Ohio Wesleyan beating the fourth ranked team in the country, Calvin College from Michigan. And you have watched this game with us at stream.uu.edu. I'm Fukuji. I've been your commentator for a majority of the match anyway. Um, from everyone here in our team, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope you will join us again sometime soon with our other events. Thank you very much and have a good night.